capitalism is the philosophy, or rather I can say a political economics, where the system of Western democracy supports that. And this system is now so much spread like a web of a spider that you cannot get rid of it. And the basic principle, the mechanism or the cogwheel gear of this whole system is interest, usury. Is it a commercial interest or a capital? Whatsoever the interest is there. This mechanism collapses collapses if you remove the interest you can never run it how hard you say how flowery statements you keep making it now there's no riba there's no but there is there is if you really do micro analysis capitalism advantages and disadvantages i'm going to discuss remember one thing no other system will ever prevail other than Quran. The blueprint which was laid by Umar ibn al-Khattab was the physical implementation to run the state craft. You see Muhammad Arabi he is the final prophet, final messenger, no prophet and Nabi or and whatsoever will come after him till doomsday. So Quran is the last supreme source which we call it revealed knowledge for the humanity. That, O oh Muhammad, peace be upon him, we have not sent you to the particular Arabs. The Arabs word, I am putting it to make explanation to the Western world. So I have not sent you the particular, but a mercy for all of the worlds, all of the worlds, worlds with plural. So this is the stature of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So Quran is for everyone. Wherever you see in the Quran, it addresses, Ya ayyuhan nas, O mankind, O mankind. And when Quran discuss about other prophets, like Moses, so he says, Ya qawmana, O my people. But when Prophet Muhammad says, I mean addressing, which Allah is telling to address, like Qul say, he's always addressing to the masses, Nas, Nas, Bani Adam, the children of Adam, peace be upon him. This is the sublime beauty and the behavior of Quran. Because Quran is for everyone. Previous prophets were only sent for the particular nation at their times. So if the Quran is the ultimate and the final source from God, it must answer every problem. It has to be. And Alhamdulillah. Quran and Prophet Muhammad is the best example. لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْبَةٌ حَسَنًا The best example and for you, O humanity, you will find indeed in the stature of Prophet Muhammad In the stature, in his personality, the best example to follow for the whole of the world. So everyone in the West, they are following Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, either by knowing knowingly or unknowingly you see that is what ulama iqbal said that prophet his majesty is so sublime that the western civilization they are following him either subconsciously or consciously but they are following every good morality sobrieties and pieties you see is basically the extraction of the biography of prophet muhammad peace be upon him unfortunately we don't know that is why this uh, George Bernard Shaw in 1850s, the Royal Albert Hall, he said it. The religion which is going to conquer England, nay Europe, within 100 years is Islam. The reason is because they see the foresight. They, have, they, have, they were foresighted people. They were not like, you know, these biased wasps, white Anglo-Saxon Protestants. 